Hello, welcome back to my channel and my playthrough of the Rise of the Red Skull campaign. Uh, I have changed tables since I needed my big table for some other games. So we're going to be playing on a green table today. Quite luxurious, don't you think? Okay, a bit of a recap from last time. We finally beat down the Absorbing Man, moving us over to the Taskmaster. We do have Peter Parker ready. We do have only four hit points remaining. And we do have our Adrenal Stims ready to pop since we did not use them uh, last episode. Um, we could note that uh, with the Taskmaster here, we say each player, yeah, da, da, da. we have expert campaign set a player's hit points to their remaining hit point value recorded. We have done that. Now each player may add one random obligation from their expert campaign set to their deck to heal their identity to its full hit point value. Uh, we ain't gonna do that, I think. I will try to recover with Peter Parker and I do have my adrenal stims in the backhand in case it will be needed. So let's try. If I lose, uh, I will reset and then I will take uh, obligation to reset Peter Parker up to uh, how is it? Five health? Full health? Does it say? Uh, do, 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 to its full hit point value, actually. <clears throat> okay. We are going to be playing Taskmaster and uh, he is here with his 2 and 3 stage ready. Before we do him, we are going to check down the main scheme. Hunting down heroes. Taskmasters 1 and Taskmaster 2. Well, I am playing expert, so I am going to be playing 2 and 3. Uh, it's the Taskmaster, of course, a Hydra Patrol, a standard and, and standard and expert encounter sets then for me. One modeler set and it's the Weapon Master, it's all in there. Uh, set up each captive alley aside out of play, search the encounter deck for the Hydra Patrol and put it into play. Shuffle the encounter deck. I have the Hydra Patrol here. It's the side scheme. Hydra soldiers perform routine patrols to maintain control of their territory. So each player searches their encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play when defeated. And um, then I will shuffle. And it's a crisis. Uh, so this, uh, I have to remove all threat from here first before I can remove threat from the main scheme. This comes in with two threat per player. I'm one, so that's two there. Let's flip this over. And it's hunting down heroes. 12 per player is the threshold. And it's the notorious taskmaster has been appointed Hydra's chief of police. His top priority is hunting down the outlaw heroes. Forced response. After resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form must choose to either place one threat here or take one damage. If this stage is completed, the player loses the game. And it starts with one threat per player and it increases with one threat per player each turn. Yoink. Okay, let's take a look at. The big guy himself, the Taskmaster, he's a two scheme, two attack villain, Hydra mercenary. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. I will do that shortly. Uh, force response. After a player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that cards. 
and the boost icons are these pips down in the corner from the encounter deck okay i'll give this a shuffle and i will deal myself an encounter card now for peter parker i will have a quick shuffle so you don't think i'm decking myself and a cut and we have six in hand size one two three four five six cards this will be my starting hand actually i can put it here so it's out of a bit more out of the way and peter down here he points yes creating some space for us okay let's check out our first starting hand i start off with espionage i have some enhanced spider sands this could be good energy always nice and a backflip and the power of justice and a swinging web kick okay i can do something with this hand yes so taskmaster he's at 16 health let's see should i try do, do, do. power of justice uh, maybe get rid of that so keep that keep that and um, espionage okay i'll say bye to the power of justice for now draw one card this is my mulligan and we draw into another swinging web kick okay that's quite op <laughs> cool let's get on with it then starting with my face i will exhaust peter parker to get myself up to seven hit points isn't it i was four seven yes that's correct so seven and to be able to do some hurting on him i have to turn to spider-man's side and as it says after players changes to hero form they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons so let's see two he takes two damage now i would like to take some threat from here but i can't because i'm exhausted but i can do some uh, i do a swinging web kick paying with the energy and the espionage that's three I'll do a swing web kick and that will hurt him for eight damage bringing him down to eight good start it's half life already uh, i will keep these in hand and i will draw back up to five so a mockingbird and another backflip wow i'm backflipping my ass off here so ready up spider-man and taskmaster he gets one threat now question is uh if i'm gonna play another threat here or take one damage i think i will allow another threat for now i we'll just have to watch this threat it's rack it racks up really fast <laughs> now he initiates attack to spider-man spider-man draws a card and he draws into a cleared area well that will come in handy clearing off the hydra patrol so let's see yes i will take the damage taskmaster taskmaster attacks with two plus one that's a three i will backflip out of that when you would take any amount of damage from an attack prevent all of that damage 
and a card comes out. So I will have to resolve those. Let's take the first one. And we do have a combat knife. It's a weapon master card attached to the villain. Attached villain attacks, gains piercing. That means he will negate tough. Uh, spend a science or physical resource to discard this card. So he will have a combat knife now. That makes him a bit more mean to deal with. Second evil card is Hunted by Hydra. Insight 1. That means... Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is a treachery, ain't it? And I can play... Hmm... I can play Enhanced Spider Sense, paying with a backflip or a swinging web kick or Mockingbird. Ah, oh, man, all these choices. Um, I will play this. So, yeah, okay, let's use a backflip to pay for Enhanced Spider Sense. When a treachery is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effect. So I guess we cancel this, but this happens. So insight one. Now when this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme. Uh, yeah, so that happens either way, but I cancel this when revealed. No damage, well, no cards to be discarded okay and that's it for taskmaster back to me wow <laughs> cool so i would like to get my bird out there but I need to do this to get rid of this um, yeah I, thought I can draw a card so let's say bye bye to the swinging web kick and clear the area that means I remove two threat from a scheme if it removes the last of that scheme draw one card I will do that so I will draw uh, another swinging web kick wow but when defeated each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a hydra minion and puts it into play engaged with them there's a hydra soldier here with four health and guard um, is there anything any better one? Hydra regular in sight one. Uh, but it's not revealed, it's put into play, so that's something else. I think I think that is the best option for now. God hunter uh, piercing and ranged. Nah. Nah, I think the best is the Hydra regular. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this insight happens when it's put into play. So if you have any corrections, leave it in the comments below in the video. Uh, I will remember it next time if I do something wrong. I'm quite adaptable that way. So we have a Hydro regular in our threat area. Now, what to do? If I don't flip now, he will attack and I have five life. I want to get Mockingbird out. Is this the time to use this? No. 
Okay, I will attack with Spider-Man to take out the Hydra regular. Now, doing that, um, I have three defense. He's three attack. Can wait one more round to flip and just draw up. However, if he draws like three boost icons, I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, let's let's risk it. We're playing, right? Okay, so five cards, three more. I get a spider tracer. I get a clean cleared area and Avenger Mansions. Okay. The best but okay I can do that's it over to him he will get a threat there Ooh, another threat yeah okay cause of the forced response but that's when I'm in hero form cool okay he will attack Spidey with three attack. Spider will defend and he will get zero. But I get to draw a card because of spider sense. And I draw a black cat. Yes, nice. Okay, card. And it is a Hydra Hunter. Oh. Hydra Hunter attacks, gains piercing and ranged. Yeah, so if you're in here, okay, so this is just a boost icon. Mm -hmm. So he's here, and ready to attack us. He doesn't attack now. Oh, and it schemes for two. Wow. Wow, okay. So back to me. This will be interesting. Should get my allies out here, helping me out somewhat. But first, Black Cat is two. This is eight. This is one. But it stuns the hero. No, it stuns the villain. Uh, and. Spider-Man is exhausted. My plan was to flip this round to my alter ego side. To do some healing. Get my cards back up and stuff. But as I see it now, I think I have to focus on taking out the minion. And the minion has three health. If I get to put this on him and I kill him, I remove three threat. That's one card and I have to pay for that with one card. And that leaves three cards or two. I want to have Mockingbird because she's Better. It's one attack. Mm, oh, black cat. Yeah, okay. Let's put a spider tracer on the hunter, paying with Avengers Mansion. Because it's quite costly, I have to be cost effective now. And I will pay. Uh, pay for Black Cat with clear the area and the swinging web kick. Now, when Black Cat is put into play, I discard the top two cards. And if it's a science card, I add it to my hand. Oh, it's a Queen Carrier, it's a science card. And it's downtime. I don't need that. Or I need it, but I don't get it now. 
So I have the Queen Carrier and I have Mockingbird. Black Cat is out there. I will hit the Hydra Hunter for one. And uh, that's it. Ready up. And I get to draw three cards. One, two, and three. And that's uh, Counterintelligence, Speed Cup, and a Web Shooter comes out. Okay. Willen. He will get a threat. And I think this time I will take a damage. Let's do that. Ooh. He will attack. I will defend against that. So it's three plus one. That's four. So one goes through. And. Ooh. Two. Keep black cat. Uh, okay, let's have him take two more. So that it's down to one health. Oh, I need Aunt May. Okay, card. Concussion grenade. When revealed, hero, you're stunned. Deal one damage to your hero. No, no. Ah, kidding me. Have nothing to block it. Yeah. Stunned, one damage. Oh, I was supposed to take a card, wasn't I? Uh, five card, yeah. I should have drawn a card. There's Aunt May. I was waiting for you. Where was you, Aunt, when I needed you? Oh. <laughs> so, Spider Man has been knocked out by a concussion grenade by the Taskmaster. But I will be back. Oh yeah, mark my words, I will take him down. Uh, okay, so oh, uh, before I will, I will upload this uh, in the playbook. There's a cool cartoon you can check it out that uh, that describes the history that the, what is going on and why things are happening as they are. It's really cool. As a Marvel fan, I love this. Don't love this. Killed me. Or knocked me out. So, I will reset. And uh, try again. But I will upload this. For you guys to laugh in my face of my defeat. If you have any suggestions to... Uh, deck building, deck uh, alterations, maybe maybe do another aspect, who knows, just let me know. Uh, I like to fiddle a bit about with new decks and stuff, and uh, you, will you can find me on Marvel DB. Actually, I can link this deck build in my description in the video here, so you can pop by and see for yourself a great a great uh, utility to build your own decks and find other people's decks and uh, play around with those. So, thank you for watching. Let's hope we will have better luck next time.